Hey, what's up, Fighter Fight Man 64 here, and welcome back to some more Sonic Riders. In the last episode, we finished up Wave Schedule for Mission by going to Babylon Guardian and Sega Illusion. So now, two treasure remain, and they still have yet to be built, and the hour has finally come for us to do just mission. For a little bit of extra spice along the way, and these are going to be rather interesting this time around. I I'll explain why here in a moment. But before we start, do me a huge favor and punch that like button on this video. I would really appreciate it. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are not a subscriber already, because we are currently less than 10 subs away from our goal of. 200 sub and if we can reach that goal and if you're not subscribed yet subscribe today and let's reach the milestone so jet mission these ones are very interesting these are all what would technically be mission 5 for storm and wave if it wasn't switched up so first up we're doing mission 1 and we got to maintain our speed where are we maintaining our speed at? Well, we're going to be doing a Metal City because this is what we did for Night Chase. And of course, to add to that, we are also racing... That was a great start by me. We're also racing Jet the Hawk. And the purpose here is we got to beat Jet to the finish line. All right. Well, this is a good start. We're already starting off by having a couple of failed attempts. But you know what? We're just getting warmed up, so not like that will be uh, too big a deal. And wow, I am getting punished real hard to start. That's not good. So anyway, so what we need to do here is we obviously do need to maintain our speed and and uh, not lose any. Because if we lose any, then that's it. We fail the mission and... Will you stop reminding me, stupid game? I'm trying to commentate here and you're just rubbing it in my face right now. Anyway, so what we need to do is maintain our speed at 140 miles per hour, which of course is what I absolutely despise doing. Because they really suck. And, and they really also love to punish you. If you were to fail otherwise. Oh boy. Ooh, 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 that was close. I almost didn't succeed there. Uh, I don't think I was fast enough on that first try. Let's see if we were. No, we weren't. I called it. Y yeah, I still, yeah. Basically what I'm saying here is, I still really, really hate the maintaining speed type mission. Because those are the absolute worst. Like, you don't have any idea how much I hate them. Because this is literally the part where you do need to, uh... Keep your speed up, because if you don't... Well, it's simple. You're going to get punished for it. And I've already gotten punished several times. This run. Okay! What the hell? Why do I keep getting a failed fail? 
even though clearly I'm making those jump uh, no problem. Like, seriously, what the heck? I'm getting punished for no reason. I mean, yeah, so those high hills really slow you down, but seriously. Uh, this game punishes so much if you fail. Okay, that time that wasn't me. That was a stupid car getting in the way. That was entirely not my fault there. Yeah, expect me to fail on this several times because, as I said, this mission sucks. I would cut ahead right now, but this is only the first mission, and that'd be really silly if I cut off right away. I also did say, after all, this was going to be challenging, because these are alternate versions of uh, Mission 5. Just to clarify that to you guys, for those of you who may be, uh, unaware of the situation that we're in right now, but that's literally what is going on at this point of time. Uh, get off the grass, get off the grass, get off the grass. Uh, I think this may be enough time. We'll see. Uh, 49 seconds? Yep. Apparently, we needed to go under 50 seconds for that one. Uh, and it only took me five minutes to do. Huh. How did I let my adversary escape? No matter, I'll recapture that treasure soon. Once again, I'm sorry if I butcher character voice, but I try to do the best I can to not butcher it. Anyway, Splash Cannon is up next, and, and this time we're... Trying to hold as much air as we can. But as I said many times before, these are pretty much alternate version of uh, certain stages that we would have gotten if they weren't uh, switched out otherwise. That's basically the sole purpose of that. Uh... Anyways, uh... Yeah, dealing with traffic sucks. Uh, also, I, that, um, that'll uh, say too, because it's awful, as I said. Also, try not to boost as much, because if you boost that much, then you're going to lose lots of air, and it could cost you the rank. So yeah, play your strategy carefully here, but for Flash Canyon, this really shouldn't be a problem. Unlike uh, Metal City, where we had to deal with the cars and traffic and that stuff. Anyway, 193 with our total air, easily succeeded on that one, but that was pretty expected. How did I get beaten by that brat? I'll have a hard time falling asleep tonight. Mission 3 is ring collecting. This takes place at the Ice Factory. Also, I am going to let you know that I, um, I did grind up on some... I, I'm going to let you know that I did grind up on some junk before uh, recording this. Just so I can, uh, show off uh, the building of it. And if I do, for whatever reason, not have enough, then I will cut ahead to the part where I do uh, have enough rings and have enough junk in that. I don't know why I said ring, since that's, what, that's obviously what we are collecting, but still. Oh boy, we're not even at 50 rings yet. Uh, this, this one I may have to retry. Uh... Hopefully, Chet doesn't take the shorter path, because if he does take the shorter path, that is going to not be good. Uh, don't look like he did, though. 
Looks like he took the longer path from what I'm looking at. Y yeah, yeah, I think I should be fine. As long as I have an enough ring, which I'm convinced there was. Yep, there we go. 82 ring was indeed enough for the cold. What do you have to say? Dang! My adversary gave me a hard time! I'm not used to not being number one! Like I said, cocky little green bird he is. As I said in uh, the second episode of Sonic Riders. <laughs> anyway, Nick this green cave and we gotta beat Jet up. Uh, three times to get gold. One for bronze, two for silver. For those, who, for anyone who's wondering about that part. And obviously, we can't let our target get away. Uh, I'm gonna slow down and wait for him. Uh, get him. Nice. Uh, I hit the wall, but... And I'm going backward. That is a big problem. Uh, stop going backward, Knuckles. Catch your target. I'm about to run out of freaking air because I didn't go... Go that shorter route. Uh, oh, this isn't good. It does seem like he's slowing down for me, though. For what, what I'm realizing. Oh, and I got the longer path. Rip. Oh, boy. This is not good. Like, I, I need to catch him. Or, or I'm guaranteed to fail. Which, conveniently enough, I did. Uh, no shortcut there. No spider web. But we had enough time, thankfully. Even when we got flipped around after hitting him a second time. S thankfully, Metal City was the only one I had to retry multiple pull time. Not too bad, though. I was defeated by that red knucklehead. I never thought I could. And for Mission 5, this is where we gotta collect Shattered Junk before Chet get, gets one. And this is where we're gonna be getting a lot of, of certain capsules that we didn't see most of when we did uh, Storm or Wave Mission. And of course, where else would it take place at but to Sega Carnival? Yep, you guessed it. We're collecting the thing. While we race Jet to the finish line, of course. And, of course, I'm gonna be missing one right here. What a shame. And I... Where the heck did Jet go? Where was he going right there? I have no idea what happened to him, but... You know what? None of my concern, because... I do... Oh, no. I think I missed another one. Uh, taxi's off service. That's a real bummer and shame. And it looks like I'm forced to go here anyways. I do have to redo this mission, though. Uh, let's see what we end up in the end. Uh, 10 out of 12. That's not too bad. But, of course, we gotta retry this again. But, as you guys just noticed right now, those air things that we saw are literally the only thing that we're collecting for this stage. And this is purposely for us to get... And they're purposely doing this to us just so we can get, uh... the last treasure, uh... to be built, because... We need a lot of these for, for a treasure D. And thus we shall. And again, Chet got lost with where he had to go. That's like the second time this has happened. Same as I'm looking at the map. 
Oh god, don't miss the thing. Ah, oh, great. I I made two successful jump, but I missed the stupid thing thing again. This time we're ring ring star. But at least I improved by one. It still isn't enough though. But you know what? Hey, as long as we keep grinding on these on these junk, well well sure the more have enough for treasure D. More likely so the case. We also can't let Chick uh, grab one of the pieces because if he grabbed one of the pieces, then he pretty much knocks us out of a. Uh, he pretty much knocks us out of the gold ring. Uh, pretty much. To put it as that. But I, you know, I still think Sonic Egg almost looks like a Yoshi Egg. Just saying. Oh, turn, 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 turn! Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. I don't think you should miss any more. Even the taxi's out of service. Boy, you know what? We don't need taxis to help us out on our way of the journey. Journey. All right, 12 pieces collect. Let's get out of here. Third try is the charm. Got 10 on the first try, got 11 on the second, and... All 12 on the third. Huh. I guess I should be impressed. I have no chance of success unless I become stronger. Moving on to extra number two. And this is where we're going to be going to Sand Ruin. To collect some ring. Oh, and by the way. It had come to my attention that I have done something wrong. Uh, whenever I did, uh, Mission 1 for San Ruin. And, and I'll tell you what I did wrong, uh, on my own part. And it does involve with the, uh, the Falling Stone Pillar. S uh, I do think I need to go this way. Anyway, so the thing I messed up on was... Well, what I was supposed to do is hold back on the control stick and do, and then do the trick. And that will uh, grant me access to the lower part of the ground. That was the thing I should have done uh, on my first attempt. Which, in this case, I did not. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think I have enough ring to... Uh, get the gold. I think I got a silver on that based on that performance. 66? Yeah. I knew I wasn't going to have enough. I looked at my ring count and realized oh shoot, I don't have enough. Alright. We got a good start. That's, that's a good sign. The only thing we got to do now is beat Jet, who apparently took the other side of the the track. Perhaps the closest way, and I nailed him. So what I was supposed to do was hold back on the control stick and then hold forward to get the higher ground. Yeah, that was what I was supposed to do on my part, and that was something I didn't do. And that was the thing I realized when I looked back to the recording for part 3 of Storm Mission. So, yeah, wanted to point that out to you guys, of what mistake I made in uh, that particular recording. Because then I would have gotten more tricks out, more than likely. Anyway, we got 77 ring on our next try, got the gold, which means we're done with Sand Ruins. That punk! My adversary is causing trouble on all the routes I tried to take. I mean, you took the other route to start, and I didn't meddle with you there. 
And we got another maintaining speed mission, which you know how I feel about those. Oh, and we got the high booster too. That's gonna make things even worse. When we go to Babylon Garden. Uh, I also think we're destroying uh, objects too, if I if I remember correctly. I could be wrong though. And I might have made a mistake for doing that. Oh boy. Hang in there, knuckle. Knuckle the knuckle. We're almost getting to that part where... We're riding the turbulence, which we are now. By the way, someone tell me what this lady is saying, uh, if you haven't already, because I've been wanting to know what she's been saying for a long time, but nobody has been really willing to answer me as far as concern goes. But if somebody knows, please, uh, comment down below, because I'm really curious to find out, after all. No! Come on! I didn't mean, I didn't mean to back out. I'll see you guys back there. Okay, attempt two. After accidentally backing out without even... Without even meaning to, of course. That was a complete accident on my part. That is all I am going to say here. Emergency alert. Emergency alert. And, wow, we are really leaving Jen in the dust on this run. But well, hopefully we don't get our success taken away from us from... From, uh, RNG, of course, because... Failing that at the very end, that one broke my heart. That I'm gonna say much. But that's okay though, we got this. We got this, man. I really do think so. As long as nothing screws us over, we should be fine. See, look at that! We we got gold, no problem. And that was only on the second attempt. Only thing is, we are a power type, and we didn't have to deal with moving objects, too. Could this mean my skills are inferior? No! No way! Mission 3! Uh, get through... Get through the track with over half the area left, which means we're using the air tank again. At Digital Dimension. Uh, no chance this time around. What we do gotta watch out for are those gargoyle statues and... and bombs and everything! No! Oh, no! No! Not like this! Uh. Well, this one's gonna be a real doozy to deal with. If I keep hitting stuff like that... This is already looking bad. Dude, like, dude! That is so mean! Really, really mean for them to do that. There is a grind rail I can get on. Uh, I'm not feeling very confident about this. I don't think I'm gonna have enough to get get the uh, gold rank. Oh yeah, I definitely am not gonna get S rank. In fact, I might have failed that. Yep, I had a feeling. That was really bad. That was really bad, not gonna lie. I don't know, could have been much worse. The sucky part is I ran out of air. Because what I was su also supposed to do there was... I was supposed to go up, up to the higher ground. Which, of course, I wasn't able to do. Yeah, yeah. This one's really mean. 
that I'm just going to confirm much. Uh. Now, the air tank, to me, in my opinion, and having to do the air tank mission, I don't find them really all too bad. It's just that this one really mean. Like, really freaking mean. Like, I wish I was joking, but I'm not. Basically what I said. Seems like I'm gonna have to put up a lot of work if I'm gonna succeed on this one. Okay, let's not miss the crime rail and... Or... For worse, miss time to jump. Uh, gonna be one of these... Gonna be one of these days at Digital Dimension, huh? I can already see if I think way things are looking. I am not touching that bomb this time. This time I'm actually going to succeed, but I'm not going to have enough to get gold, though. See? 111. Yowch. Yike. That hurts. So, I think what I'm going to do here is, if I fail this on this try, then I'm just going to cut ahead. Because, let's be real, this is a pain in the ass. And I am without question going to fail. So, I'll see you guys when I get a successful run. Uh, I think this may be enough. Oh yeah, it definitely got to be enough, possibly. But is it enough for gold? I wonder. No, it was not. Nope, no it wasn't. Are you gotta be kidding me? How much more freaking air do they want me to do? How much how much more air do they want me to have? Oh, I thought I had it too. Oh, this is one part I don't enjoy about doing this level with an air tank. Thank goodness! Finally! Ugh. Doing digital dimension with an air tank, that is so awful to do. I can't tell you how many tries that has taken me to complete this mission and get gold on this particular track. I almost find this as worse as Metal City uh, mission for shit. That, I'm gonna be honest with you. But at last, we're finally done with this part. But, we only have two more missions to do before we close off the episode here. I just realized something. Could this guy be going by instinct? Funny, when I plan everything out. Alright, so now we're going to Sega Carnival. And we're gonna beat Jet up once again. Just like we did at... Uh, Green Cave. Hit him three times for gold. Although it does say one on here. Clearly. And Jed is clearly trying to avoid me. 
which has failed. I just need to hit him two more times. Get back here! Wow, that was a weird ankle that I just got there. Oh, come on! Ah, come on! Ah, uh, he got in front of me, but... But then he got... Behind me, just so I can miss him. Dang it! That's okay, though. We got him. We got him, no problem, fam. Uh, this is gonna give me air, doesn't it? And Cassie's still out of service. Because why would it be in service at a time like this? Here we go. Finish line, ahoy! And gold emblem, okay, ahoy! I kind of butchered the saying right there. But whatever. How? How could I be defeated by a little brat? I... I am the leader of the Babylon Rogue. I cannot lose! Alright, mission five. This is our last mission for this episode. This is where we gotta race to the finish and beat him. It's a matter of honor to win. A match with Chet to prove who is the faster. Prove that you are by reaching the goal before him. And I believe there's a specific time you need to get to beat him. And it all takes place in Sand Ruin. And as you guys can see, Chet is equipped with the Speed Balancer. Which I, which I think is supposed to like, uh, well, give it more speed than that. Uh, I'm not gonna take take that short path where the falling pillar is because I don't really feel that it's really necessary. Neither was taken on the grind rail. This is for fast time after all. Uh, so how many stone pillars are going to to appear? Uh, quite a lot actually. And yeah, I think we got him. We got him. Question is, are we fast enough? Hopefully we are. 55 seconds? We were. Go gold medal for us once again. What do you have to say for yourself, Chef? Forget about honor. Any way I can win, I'll take it. Well, we had a... We had a couple of speed bumps on this this run, but we we proved ourselves and managed to beat some of the easy ones and some of the hard ones. So let's look at our treasure right now. Uh, we have we have forty for the grave. Uh, we have enough green, yellow, uh, red, and blue. And now the time has come for us to repair the Turbo Star. Which means only one treasure remains, and that is the Legend Gear. So anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Because that is it for now. If you enjoyed this episode of Sonic Red and you'd like to see the final part of the mission mode, don't forget to... Punch that like button. And next time we're going to be doing the counterpart stage. Extra three, extra four. And we'll be doing the substitute mission for mission five. Or what would have been mission five, I guess I should have said. But whatever. So anyways, so once again, I am Fightman64. See you all. Have a good day. Game on, my friend, and take care. Goodbye, everybody, and stay safe. Adios!